Greetings everyone, it's me again, Ashra from Blood Moon Pictures, and I'm back with uh, the next Hive Swap Let's Play. Um, you may notice the light's different, that's because I waited to the next morning. Um, because I wanted to wait for a review of you guys, if you want facecam or not. And um, basically the video with facecam has more views, but I don't have like clear comment answers, so I will, again, um, do both and upload both. In order to see which one is viewed more often this time, and if, is it, if, if, if it is the one with face cam again, then I will keep in the face cam. If not, then I will most likely not keep in the face cam because I noticed my face is blocking off a lot of things. And I figure that you guys would rather see Hive Swap than the ugliness that is my face. Okay then. So last time I noticed that this is sparkly over here. Um, I fir I wanna first. I'm gonna click challenge. All right, that's where you put the, the walkie-talkie batteries. I knew it. Was it sparkling that uh, because of that? But it looks like Simon says does use batteries, so I guess you just take them back out. Okay, one more game for all time's sake first. Two is probably fine. Oh jeez, do I, I have to play? Okay. Green, red. Oh, okay. I've never played Simon Says before. Oh. Oh. Looks like the green button isn't working. Well, nostalgia satisfied. Might as well scavenge the batteries. Okay then, now I have the batteries. Can I combine these? There we go. Success! The walkie-talkie works like a charm now. A charm with battery power. You'll feel ba uh, pretty pleased with yourself. No, you feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem you just solved your first puzzle of many. On what is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. The g then again, putting batteries in a thing isn't technically solving a puzzle, you suppose. It is just overcoming a minor inconvenience that you created yourself using mundane, widely available modern technology. I'm proud of myself I c could read that without, without a... Well, whatever just happened, you know what I mean. You don't care enough, y you're counting it. Okay then. Jude... Uh, <clears throat> Jude, you there? You alright? Yes. Oh, I won't do that. Been covertly signaling status and requesting yours. Over. You mean the lantern? I don't know Morse code. Would never use such easily decipherable code. Over. Enemy agents everywhere. Over. Wait, over. Uh, unover. <laughs> Still unconfirmed vis-a-vis -vis, uh, your condition following enemy serpent encounter. Over. Please report byte status. How many and how gross over? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. No bites, you weirdo. But uh, thank you for asking. It was so... C it's what a close one. Great was worried over. That reminds me. After I shut the door on it, I think I heard it come climbing off back down the stairs. I don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon. It might be headed back your way. No pl plans of leaving current location yard crawling with cryptid vanguard over. Wait, it... Wait, wait it out. Then? Cryptid. Mm, cryptid. Cryptid vanguard? Missing big picture, Joey. Over. Okay, maybe be a little less obtuse then. Purely defensive pos posture tactically suicidal. Monsters likely just distraction. Cool to have obscured additional agents on op approach. Over. Do you mean, like, more monsters, or...? Can't discuss on on an unsecured channel. Can't be certain who's listening. But evidence points to Enter's gla uh, class conspiracy cascade. Over. What? Uh, 
What? Over. <laughs> I would go with the over. What? Over? Relief, you are taking this seriously. Are you totally prepared to begin forward operations? No going back now, Joey. Over. I was making fun of you, dweeb. I'm not going anywhere. Trust crucial on the battlefield, Joey. Hoping presence of monsters has tipped equ equation away from typical s skepticism. Over. I trust you. It's my it's my brother br brother of my brother after all. Okay, that's uh okay, that's that's fair. Okay. What do I need to know? Your current position not secure. Large yard facing windows. Location comprom com compromised to enemy. Situation rapidly deteriorating. Must have gone to attic Joey. Over. The attic? Yes, the attic. Strong door. Well stocked with tactical material. Take left out of bed take left out of bedroom, go upstairs. Highest room in house, over. I know what the attic is, Jude. It was just a weird su suggestion. What else is new? Are inscruptible rambling from more inscruptible rambling from my treehouse night brother? Don't understand. You sounded confused. Trying to help. Over. Look, just shut up, okay? I'll sneak up there, lock the door, and you can call the cops. I think I guess. Negative. Must assume local law enforcement compromised. <laughs> oh right. 911 blocked our number after all your prank calls. Ah <laughs> uh, no. Drills. Not pranks. Xenomorph <laughs> Xenomorph in cursing pre pre preparedness drills. Xenomorph really? Oh man. Look. Faded miserably by Fat Cat Xenomorph <laughs> Collaborations of Haunt Switch PD. Jude. On our own. As a house, as a species. Over. Jude, I'm going to go to the stupid attic, okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry for being mean. Do you have your weapon over? Um, what weapon? You mean my old weapon? What for? Serp serpent swarming everywhere, over. You want me to fight them? With a flashlight? Don't blame you for being nervous with a high concentration of serpent presence. Must be brave. Your brother believes in you and knows you can beat the serpents over. Stop saying serpents. Do you recall where, where weapon is? Over. Yeah? It's in the closet. Understood. All set then. Over. No, I mean the hall closet. Crap. Over. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I'll have to take your word about the, all this. You are sure about all this, right? Absolutely, extremely certain. Over. Over and out, Squirt. <laughs> Over, but we just started. <laughs> one, I like that achievement. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I have to go in the hall, and I'm sorry in um in the get go that I won't click every single detail and won't uh go into every uh, single detail because we noticed last time we made like almost no progress in the time um, we just managed to start the intro so please be sorry if we don't visit every single detail in this let's play I mean we can do that if you're okay with longer episodes but still ha that's the sufferer the plushy whatever looks like the coast is clear for now better hurry over to the hall closet and retrieve your weapon before that crafty old serpent, you mean snake, can get the drop on you. I want no, I, I have to. This thing's always giving you the creeps, but that didn't stop you from patching it up after Jude accidentally ripped it with an experimental foamless dart. Oh, dude. Ah, oh, a dart, really? 
Oh, the sufferer fields. That's okay. Um. Okay. What else can we? Can I? Um. It's your mother's jewelry. Bo what? Oh. Um. Okay. I wanted to click the Pringles, but that, that didn't work. It's your mother's jewelry box. A priceless heirloom of immeasurable sentimental value. Also, there appear to be some of your brother's empty cans of Pringles. Oh, it's one thing. Okay. From the first and last dart gun war with Jude, Belinda here provides great cover for those who will refuse to use firearms. Namely you. You try to distract him with your tap dancing and then stick a dart on him. It didn't work at all. It's adorable. Okay, so there's a water gun. Look, this gun can shoot a stream of water up to 50 feet away. Too bad you don't use guns. Can I equip it anyway? You don't use guns. Okay. <laughs> Worth a shot. Oh my god. This lady was just hanging out in her altogether, which, you mean, who are you ju to judge? Except it made uh, made you slightly uncomfortable, so you church her up a little. You feel kind of silly about it now, but whatever. You were like eight. Yes. I can fully understand you, Joey. I can't go that way. Oh, that I can. It's a wrong way, but I want to explore. Oh god, another, another angle. Look at this! It's so much... It's so... Uh... Hmm. Light it. Ooh. Can I make other things? Oh my goodness. Yes, I will keep that one. Are there more easter eggs? I, I just have to fix... Aww. Oh my god, there's so, so much cherubim stuff going on. I can't click on the cherubim Lego set? Aww. Okay, so... No, wait, I wanna... Can't I... I can't click... Aww. Look, this is the door to your neurotic dork of a brother, a brother's maximum security bedroom. He keeps it locked up tight because of all the silly conspiracy work he does in there. You sincerely doubt you, you'll be entering this room anytime soon. But really, why would you even want to? It's full of nerd, stink and guru crud. Not to mention it's where his pet usually lurks. Oh. You love animals. But just, uh, but just the same, that's one you'd rather let you deal with. What is his pet? He always keeps it locked. Um, yeah, I'm stupid. Nothing about the cherubim castle here? Can I have that for my children? Okay, what's in here? Uh, look. It's the hallway closet. If memory serves, there's a box full of some old belongings of yours in there. You wonder if that's... Uh, if it has what you're looking for. Okay, okay, great. Can I first go a bit over here? Jude recommend you grab a strife weapon from the hall. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Can I... I can't go over here. Okay. Then open the door. Something fell down. No, it didn't. Uh, you think back to before, back to when this, this closet door was shut. You had a reasonably good guess about what was inside, but now your guess is more reasonable. Okay. Look. That boxer probably has the stuff you need, but you can't reach... Hmm. You wonder what your next step should be. 
Actually, your tap shoes might be the right solution to this problem. If you could just get a good stomp going, uh, going, you might be able to tumble that box right off the shelf. Okay then. Um, I can't search, but I can do this. Ha! There we go! Search. You pick through the box and find your flashlight and an old pair of belly slippers. These will come in handy. Alright! Oh, hey, there's some pet treats in, uh, press pet treats in here too. You keep catches of all of these all over, never know where, when you'll need to treat a pet. You go ahead and try your flashlight. Click, click, no dice. Another battery problem. You open it up. Wait, there were no batteries in here at all. Just a bunch of stupid pods. Dang it, dude. Oh, guess wh oh, what? It's full of your stupid pogs. Crap, forgot uh, about those. Please keep safe. Over. Fine, okay. But I'm not going to take as especially good care of them. Please protect Mulder at all costs. Over. Uh, you and Mulder, this Scully Pog is obviously where it's at. Terms acceptable. Keep them safe. She's yours. Over. So I guess I head up to the attic now. That's the plan. Over. I better sh shake a leg then. Affirmation, affirmative, over and out. Okay. Um, first I, I wanna. You just drive up and back. Time to head up to the attic, right? You're talking a leap of faith with the Jude on this one. Oh, I want. I want to look at the little Lord English figurine that I saw in the intro. Is this the right way? Oh, that's a creepy thing over here. Look! You got this toy caterpillar so you could learn how to cure a caterpillar disease. But it turns out plush caterpillars don't get sick. Super cute though. The friend. Of course. The caterpillar can't help you, and you can't help the caterpillar. Not a productive friendship, but at least nobody's being taken advantage of. Okay. Hmm. A bunch of uh, of stuff that should be moved into the attic. There's some toys here to too that you don't play with that much anymore. Basically, a pile of useless trash. I'm interested. Honestly, there's probably some pogs in this pile of junk already. They're like roaches. <laughs> um. I want to open it, sure. It's locked, but you need to get in here as soon as you can. You peer through the keyhole. Nice. Weird. What the heck was that thing? And how long has it been there? Hey, the attic door is locked. Cripes, forgot about that. Tactical blunder on my part, over. It's fine, no big deal. Just left the safety of my room to be eaten by monsters in the hallway because my doggy brother sent me to the safety of the wrong side of the locked door. It's not... Is it not fine? Over. Jude! Panic not necessary. Still need to get you to attic over. For safety? Right. Well, whatever. I'm trusting you, I guess. Appreciate that. Over. Although so far it hasn't really paid off. Jerry, please, just need you to head to trophy room. Over. Oh, gross, I hate that place. Why does he even need a special trophy room when our whole house is just his dumping ground for whatever garbage he picks up on stupid adventures? We'll find key to attic. Over. Mysterious whims of absent father not relevant. Over. <sighs> Fine. Over and out. Okay then. Oh, you're loath, uh, you're loath to touch it and disturb whatever astronomically Im improbably equilibrium is at play. Best just to leave it be. I want to go further down though. Oh, there we go. 
it's not as easy to play on windowed mode, I um, exit. Okay, no monsters. Wait, I can go this way as well. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's the same thing. Can I now look at the... Nope. I can't look at... There's no... Uh, I wanted to look at a, the Lord English toy. Lot of pictures. This is her mum, right? Some great photos and portraits of your mostly great family. You decide to take a closer look. Oh, yes. And I guess all you guys want me to click will be this one. You and Jude have a lot of fun memories with your babysitter. By now, probably more than with mom and pa combined. You'd always thought of her as the kind of cool and fun older kid you wanted to be. Until you got old enough to realize she's a pretty sucky role model. You wonder what her family is like, but it's probably not your place to ask. Well, for all we know, Roxy doesn't have a family in this universe as well. Because she landed uh, with a meteor down here. So... As long as she did got adopted by random uh, people, I guess. Pa and someone you presume is his sister? Nobody he's ever mentioned, not that the two of you talk much. Kind of weird to think you might have like a second cousin out of out there you've never met. Maybe she died young. The old time you times were pretty rough. Oh, well, your cousin is John's dad, I guess. So he's not dead, not yet at least. Tries tears. There aren't any pictures of the three of you together, so you tried to make one through the art of composition by hanging these three solo photos together. It's kind of like there's a photo of all of three of you, sorta. Okay. Then, um, I think I'm all up on time for this episode, I'm afraid. So, I just save here. And I'll say... If you want to see more of this, I will definitely upload the entire Let's Play, don't worry. And um, please, 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 please tell me in the comment section below if you prefer longer, if I should make the episodes longer, if I should um, uh, include or exclude facecam totally and just upload one episode with, uh, with facecam or not. Or tell me th uh, through the views again. <laughs> I guess, but I would really appreciate comments about this uh, thing and what do you think so far. Anyway, I sincerely love all of you guys and we'll see each other in the next video. Cheerio!